All right, so this is the Aphrodite's Essence Tartarus Vault. This is the one we actually, you know, we'll get Aphrodite at our um, at Mount Olympus there. <clears throat> so up in here. Um, this one is a very long one, so I'm probably going to break this up into two videos, one for the entire vault part and then one for the final boss fight at the end because um, it's actually a fairly, fairly long fight. All right, so we start off by just running up a set of steps. Maybe Hera's just jealous. We're going to double jump better. and then glide all the way across here. Just make it a little bit easier. Get our stand back a bit. Hop across. I'm going to battle a couple of harpies. I like to just use my bow and arrow on this. Most of the time you can avoid damage, but sometimes I mess up and they fly into me. Uh, sometimes they go right through the walls and things like that. But for the most part, this is this is a pretty trivial fight. You can get them low. The key to get the harpies is to get them low because otherwise they're really hard to hit. You can't. You have to use a bow and arrow. So this one's low enough that I should be able to get over there and get it down. I'm right, basically gonna have one out. Shot in the back. That's it. So we're going to run over the plate over here. And what we have to do is actually shoot these seeds uh, with, with fire, fire arrow. So you take the Apollo arrow, you know, the uh, right mouse button, hit E, and then just guide it through the fire and then at the seed. Just like corruption seeds. And then once that's down, we can now advance. And we're just basically going to keep destroying those seeds as we go through until we get to the final boss. That's really what it's all about at this point. All right, so we get our first save here. Now, this is a little bit of a puzzle. It's not, it's not too hard. Let's run over. We have to go to the left here and press the button here to get a box to drop down. Make sure our stam is up all the way up. And then we pick it up Then we uh, run quickly and just try to keep jumping across here, straight across. This is a plate over here we have to drop it off on. And keep an eye on your stam. You don't want to jump and fall on that. You'll take damage. All right, drop the box, get our stam back a bit. Pick the box up and jump over. All right, now drop it on the feather plate and leave it there. All right, so now we're going to hop across. What this does, that feather plate actually enables this fire right here. And it allows us to shoot that seed. So get behind it. Use your Apollo arrow. Right click, press E, and hit the seed. Not too hard. Now we're just going to drop down here. Hit this uh, control panel. It gives us a ball. So it's clear now we can go drop down here. We're going to take this ball and not move it up the ramp. Uh, because it's actually um, there's a seed up there. It's gonna we're gonna do damage. So we're gonna leave it right there We're gonna run up almost not to the top of the ramp just to the edge of the ramp Middle mouse button and press E and have it roll to each, towards you at the last second You're gonna let go and dodge out of the way and it's just gonna roll up and into the little panel where it needs to be to unlock the door We hop back up here where the fire is Use our Apollo arrow Seeds right in there. So we're gonna shoot the Apollo arrow through the doorway and hit the seed Boom. Now we can go over there. Now in there is actually our first treasure chest. There's four chests on this um in this vault. So here, grab this chest. Run out of here. We head up here. Stand on this panel, and uh, what this does is it it unlocks that seed up there. It's unlocked. Now we can shoot it. We're gonna use that same um, set of fire over here. The arrow go through it and then swing it all the way over the seed. Now, one suggestion I'll make is go into your control uh, menus and actually turn up the sensitivity of your Apollo arrow. You're gonna you're gonna want to do that later on. Um, I'll probably have a tips and tricks video coming out soon with some of the settings I use um, for that stuff. In the meantime, we're gonna just keep going up here. There's only room on Olympus for tree branches. I'm gonna jump up here. Get another save. Yeah, stand up because we got to jump and glide across a little bit. And then we have another set of enemies behind this door. So what we're going to do here is we're going to open these doors. We're not going to run right in. We're going to just go to the edge till the door is shut. Stop right there. Nothing spawns. We want to destroy the seed before we go in too far. 
if we're going too far it activates the enemies it makes it a little more difficult so you saw how i uh shot it and just turned the arrow around now though burns the seed down everything's clear now let's run in and fight the enemies there's gonna be four enemies we're gonna run to the right real quickly take care of these lower tier enemies this is a big guy to the left and try to dodge their attacks so we should be able to burn off these two guys before uh, we have to deal with a big guy you can see the big guy coming around he's the last one he's just throwing arrows he actually hit his, his buddy with a spear so um we're, we're pretty we're pretty good spot right here now um we can deal with these two guys and not worry about him too much take care of this last guy and then we start running now what i do here is i just try to um line of sight him with that middle column and just use my arrows it's kind of a pain you might be able to get closer i just found it easier with this guy just use my bow and arrow to uh keep shooting him and hitting him I don't really have uh, my my gear is not very high right now. I just been doing the main story stuff. I have not not done any of the side Tartarus vaults, so you know I have I think it's a level two uh, bow and arrow, level two uh, axe, and everything else is like level one. So I'm not too high. That's why it's taking a little bit to kill these guys. But he's going down. It's pretty safe this way. Just sprint out of the way when you're doing it. And, you know, make sure you have uh, arrows ready. All right, so uh, through these doors. Now, there are a couple uh, health apples in there if you need it. There's a health apple right out here. And uh, that was a save. Now we're going to get our second uh, chest. So we're going to drop down here onto this branch. Run around here. You can see the chest there on the left. Just follow all the way around here. And then you can just jump across. That's your chest. Now you could like if you didn't use the apple you could actually just jump off this thing and just go respawn at the save point and uh grab the apple and you'd be all set and you'd be full health again so it could act it, it could save time i don't know it doesn't seem that far uh, i've fallen off this before i don't remember if this is the one where I, yeah i think i nope i don't i don't actually fall off this one it was one of them where i actually fell off the thing anyway all right here's a second encounter there's a minotaur in here same deal just step in close but don't go too far and rate until the door shut stop so the minotaur doesn't spawn there's two seeds to destroy in here you want to get rid of them because it makes it a lot harder uh when the minotaur is up so shoot to the left fire arrow come all the way back around you can see the seed inside this window now the next seed's in that window so we're going to shoot around this way and there's another um some more fire here so we're going to put our polar arrow through that and now you can see that seed right there just get rid of the seeds boys before you have to deal with the minotaur all right, now that's cleared up. We're gonna step forward and the mid is gonna spawn. Now, there is a key to this. I basically use my arrows to do damage to him, but what I actually like to do is let the Minotaur damage himself. So I try to stand in front of the, uh, he has a charge ability and sometimes I do well with it. Sometimes I don't uh, dodge it. So he's not doing it right now. So I just keep running around until he does it. He actually just did it and ran into the wall. Did you see that? Oh, he might've missed it, but that's all right. Um, I keep shooting him in the head. You see, I do about hundred points of damage. But the big thing is uh, when he hits the, uh, he charges and you're going to dodge out of here. It comes to charge, you're going to dodge out of the way. I don't dodge out of the way. Luckily, I believe, what is it? Aphrodite's uh, gift gives you the free health. And that's what I happen to have. So I got lucky there. If it happens again, I'm not going to be so lucky. But you see how much um, stun damage he took? It's like half a bar. So two of those, here he comes again. Dodge out of the way. I made it that time. Completely stunned. Go up to him, do a bunch of damage. Pull out your axe, your sword, whatever you're going to do and do damage to him. So this is how we're going to beat him. And then once you get really low, dodge out of the way and get to the next pillar. So I basically try to stun him at two points. This point, and where you just saw me at that wall right there. That's all I try to do with this guy. It goes pretty quick if you do it. If you're good at the dodging, which I'm really not the greatest at the dodging. I did it that time too. And you turn around, you notice he's half, his half bar is full. So when he does that, it fills up his stun. So you basically two hits like that and he stuns. Here it comes again. Let's see if I can dodge. Yep, a successful dodge there. Run up, do some damage to him don't believe i can kill him on this one but when that yellow bar gets really low you want to get out of there because sometimes they attack quickly and uh he can wreck you so i just dodge out and then just shoot him in the face again the aphrodite's gift has helped me a, a bunch of times on this one there I, I didn't dodge but he's basically almost dead anyway well, I did dodge, but it was a, wasn't a successful dodge anyway, and he's dead. So we're moving on. There are apples in here, such as this one. I'm going to grab it just to get full health. And we're going to move on to the next section. All right, come up here, stand on this plate. 
it's going to activate this column and the fire shoot your apollo arrow through it and hit the seed on the other side now we just have to jump across so i do a double jump and a glide just to the far side hit the save and move on as you can see there's lots of full health here um my health is full so i don't need it um so if you fall off the ledges you know from doing goofy things and that happened to me plenty of times you can always use those full health but until i'm fighting uh enemies or a boss or anything like that i don't bother with them because if you fall off you always go back to the save point and it's not like you can't keep playing so all right so here's the next puzzle part we're going to come over here we get another save keep running straight we're going to jump up over here and use our apollo arrow behind this fire there's a seed back behind a wall over here so if you fire your arrow this way and you'll see the it'll be right to your right here hit it now we're going to jump over this again and we're going to go press this button to get uh, one of the big metal balls that we're going to glide over to a hole for it to sit in now remember um move the ball not your character because now you're actually playing the part of the ball i know your character's in the back of it but it's actually the ball that you move it just makes it easier once you you visualize that and you're not trying to think about where you want your guy to move he just goes around with it all right so once it's done we're going to run back over where we shot our arrow front hop over here we'll hop here's a save now we're going to sit behind this flame and we're going to shoot three four seeds when we're here now we could shoot just two move on do a couple things and move but i do all four of them so first one's right in front of us right there the second one's uh on the same plane kind of right there but to the right a little more right behind this wall there it is right there now we could move on and go and do the next part but i'm gonna shoot my last two i'm gonna shoot the last two seeds that are in here uh the first one you can see it way off in the distance there now if your stam's not high enough and it, it should be as you can see i only have six bars of stam and i only use two there and the stam comes up pretty quickly so i basically got one bar back now the other one's to the left here. You can see it right behind a column on the left. You're just going to kind of cruise over here and hit it. Now, there's no more seeds in this area, so we can just run ahead and go do all the parts that we need to. To the right here is a button we press, and we get another one of the metal balls that we have to glide around. And just be careful. There are holes on the ground, so you have to kind of obviously go the long way. And just go around. Now, if you're really good, sometimes I can do it, sometimes I can't. You just drop the ball here, and it'll roll right through. And I think I get it this time. Nope. I had to grab it. Sometimes it'll go right through, and you don't have to push it too far. There we go. And it is in. We're good to go. On to the next section. We gotta do that one more time. Obviously, a different part. There's another full health, which is cool. Here's another save location. You stand up before you jump across things. But before we do the next ball, we're gonna go grab another chest. This will be chest number three. And get over the wall. There it is, right there. Back through the hole in the wall and over to the left side here for the button. Metal ball, grab it and start gliding, it, guiding it, I'm gliding it, guiding it. But that's why this one is so long is a lot of this like um, you got to it's slow parts of click this, click this. Now move this ball over here. And that's why I think this one takes so long. Once again, see if you can just drop it through the door without uh, it hitting the side. Works out pretty well if it just goes forward. Now follow it in because you got to run straight ahead. There it is, it went in. Up up here on this panel, this will set a fire on a uh, pedestal right there. And then when it comes back around, you're gonna use an Apollo arrow, shoot it. You're gonna go through the fire by these two uh, moving objects. If you can skirt it through the middle, you can. Sometimes I had to go to the left side. And there's another 
thing that pops up in front of you there. You got to be careful you don't hit it. And then you're basically going to hit the seed off in the distance. All that for this one seed. That was a lot. And once you hit it, just run forward. Uh, I missed it. A lot of times I can quickly get on that um, as it's going by. Jump here and jump across. Hit the save again. Remember, there's uh, full heals here if you need them. Let's keep going. Another save. Go across the tree branches. And we're just going to keep running straight ahead. To go take care of the next seed in the next section. Across this branch. Stay to the right here because there's like the poison seed stuff there. All right, get our stam up. Uh, we're going to run down here. And we're going to jump across and glide a little bit. And get another save. And here's another puzzle part. All right, so we're going to hit this and activate it. Hit this ball. Now, the seed's right in there. And there's some fire in there. But I find the fire over here is the easiest one to do. Now, we're going to have to guide Apollo arrows all the way around. And this is tough. So turn the sensitivity, uh, sensitivity of your Apollo arrow up so that you can actually do this. And you see how I came down there, scooped it, came back all the way up. And so I can get a good angle on this one. You got to make sure you kind of get that loop up and over and down because they, they're, even with the sensitivity up, I think I have mine on five. It's really hard. So now you got to pull the ball into the, the hole and you get the next ball. Now, uh, the seed is over there. You got to get rid of the seed before you can move the ball. So, well, you can move the ball as far as you want, but I just leave it there until I get rid of the seed. Same thing. Same. We're going to use this one the whole time. Same one. Burn it. Get it around the corner and hit the seed. Nice. Now go back. I'm going to move the ball by middle mouse button and just drag it towards us. You got to be careful. The middle part there actually has a hole. So you want to kind of drag it, drag it around if possible. There you go. We're moving it all the way around. This one takes a little while because you got to keep running over and pulling it towards you. I find it's easier just to pull it towards you than it is to like try to move. Like I'm moving it now, but you end up using a lot of stam where sometimes it's easier just to go this way. Grab it pull it towards you and then just well i do it again here there's another hole there so be careful you don't drop the ball in the hole because you have to move the whole thing over again you can see the holes in the floor you got to take the long way, way around unfortunately and then finally pull the ball into the right hole and we get boom new ball spawns there but we have to get rid of a seed first so you can see the seed right there but we're going to run all the way back and use the same fire right there I'm pretty lucky for the first two and I got this one too all right so up and over and you can see where I hit it you can see the path I take I said turn the sensitivity up on your uh, Apollo arrow and it'll make this much easier now we jump down and get our fourth and final chest and we can go move the final ball over so just run over this way up over down and we can actually grab the ball we don't have to do it from the top because uh once we destroy that seed that final seed it's no longer poisonous down here we go around the holes and put it in this hole up up here go on this panel and shoot your apollo arrow through this and hit the seed all right now we're gonna keep moving on um they lied that's actually not the last seed which is funny that they say that we're gonna jump back across the way we came move to the right now if you need a full health go get a full health we're gonna take the left uh tree branch over here they both go to the same area if you went to the right it just goes a little further along make sure you get a full uh, apple because the next thing we do is the boss fight so we're gonna go up these set of stairs Another set of stairs, and we're going to go up the, um, it's not a branch. This one is actually Aphrodite's arm of her statue, but there is the last seed. We got to try. I don't know why they said they, they just messed up. They didn't realize there was one more seed. Arrow through the flames, hit the seed, and we can run up there. I didn't mean to put so much pressure on Aphrodite. Run up the arm. We now we're going to veer off to the left a little bit onto what, the, the thumb. And then we're going to get our stam up. It'll be knucklehead and jump without stam. And then glide across. 
Make sure I stand exactly. good, and then glide across. So now we start the boss I've fight. To stay strong All right, since this video has been super long as it is, um, I'm not gonna play the whole boss fight. All like I'll I'll speed through it so you guys can see the whole fight. But it's very repetitive once you learn the pattern and what the boss does. And we'll go over that uh, pretty quickly and show you a couple rounds, and then just speed through the rest of it. So we get through the cutscene first. This is Ozumin, the hurricane. So we're just, we're just basically gonna dodge every attack she has right now. We're not gonna do anything else. I try to use these to throw at her, but it really, it doesn't really do much. So I just try to avoid her at this point. And then when she does that, she turns pink. She's gonna do a wave thing. So just try to dodge it. And then you're gonna watch for it. She's gonna jump up right now and she's gonna freeze in gargoyle form. You're gonna run up. This is when we're gonna DPS her. We're gonna hide under her. So the other harpies, their laser beams actually typically hit her. They'll they'll come in there and swoop in at you and hit you and do damage. But for the most part, you, you're safe in here from their laser beams. And then uh, once she unfreezes, we're just gonna dodge. And once again, we're just gonna run and hide. This is all we're gonna do. Just keep running and hiding. Don't try to pick anything up. Um, just dodge your laser beams. She's gonna watch when she turns pink. Keep your eye on her. And I, I do a pretty poor job of dodging it, but here it is right here. Her wave, boom, jump over this. I missed. You gotta jump a little early. You can double jump it. Um, but that's probably the one thing you wanna watch out for is that, um, is the wave when she turns pink. Now she's freezing herself. She's in the gargoyle form, whatever it is. And then you just go inside. See, I got swooped in a hit, but like the laser beam's not gonna do any damage to me. I don't even bother going after the ads. I just attack the boss and eventually you do so much damage to her that she's stunned now we can do more damage to her well i didn't realize that i ran away so i missed the chance this, this opportunity but i should be doing damage to her right now i didn't realize it I, I do it the last second so i run up and do a little damage but it's too late at this point that's it so we'll do one more set here i'll show you like i'll we'll let you watch it one more second we'll talk about it and then i'll just speed up through it so we're just waiting to see her turn pink and then we're going to try to jump her and dodge her um here it is right here double jump if i can get over i made it that time and that's the only attack that's really i think is the hardest one everything else is just keep running around you basically dodge everything and then watch her watch for her to do her gargoyle thing stay away from her because she'll she'll melee you here she turned gargoyle i just go inside under her wings and they keep shoot they shoot her as well so she'll take damage from their hits as well and that's it all right let's speed through this so um the video is a little bit shorter than 30 minutes All right, back to normal speed because this is the kill. A couple more wax and she is done. Nice one. Winner, winner. Chicken dinner. That's it. So now we just got to run across and get out of here. So over to the side here. These are uh, glide. R, obviously, and just keep gliding across. And then we're actually gonna pick the essence up out of the clamshell and we win. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please hit the like button below and leave a comment if you have any questions. I'll do my best to answer them. If you want to see more content like this, then please smash that subscribe button. You can also hit me up when I'm live over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash maniocrity, where I stream Friday, Saturday, and Sunday evening starting at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Until next time, immortals, happy hunting.
unfazed by the jealous thoughts echoing inside the vault, Phoenix was determined to reunite Aphrodite with her essence.